compete. 12 months, we sit, you know, we sit here today, 12 months down the track from the million dollar chase night. And you have to pinch yourself sometimes. Certainly do, yeah. yeah. I think every day this year we've, uh, you know, you look back on it, you know, uh, we've looked at the video a couple of times uh, and uh, still it, it makes us emotional and, uh, you know, yeah, look, it, it was overwhelming. The, the whole, the whole, uh, whole race, the whole, you know, end result was just overwhelming for us, you know, so, yeah. Tell us, what does a night like that, what does it mean to your family? Oh, look, uh, it's indescribable, you know, what, what it's done for us, it, it, you know, it's, it's just put us on the map as, as trainers and, and, and worldwide and it's put greyhound racing on the map. Um, yeah, look, mum and dad, you know, they're overwhelmed, you know, the, with the wind, Jody's parents, uh, our family, you know, the, the support we got and, and, you know, from friends, family and, and my wife Jody too, it was, it was amazing, you know, so, yeah, that, 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 it, it, it changed our lives in, in, in ways that we never thought it changed our lives, but we're still the same people, we still do what we do daily and, uh, yeah, you know, we won't change that anyway. Let's go back to that night. You know, there's now the famous line that you, when you got in the car, you said to Jody, let's go become millionaires. Did that happen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we still talk about it today. Yeah, it did happen. Yeah, look, um, you know, I was out there getting the dogs ready, Jody was getting the kids ready and, um, and you know, we crossed paths in the hallway as, we, as we're walking out and, uh, and I said to Jodes, I said, you know, I'll give her a kiss on the cheek and I said, let's go become millionaires and she goes, let's, you know, and um, it was just something, there was a moment there that, that we looked into each other's eyes and, and, and realised that, hey, we, we really could do this. Um, and, um, you know, it was, it was a big build up, you know, the, the, and knowing full well that four weeks ago, we, we thought we weren't going to have a runner in the series. So, um, yeah, it was, it, still get a bit choked up about it now, thinking about it, but yeah, it was, um, it was really emotional, it was really, um, it was a touching moment between the two of us and, and just, it just put us together, you know, and, and we knew all the hard work we've done together and, uh, and we thought, wow, you know, it could pay off in just one race and, you know, again, who would have thought? All the way from Landilo in Sydney's northwest, from the kennels of Jody Lagosiani, number seven, Mystic Riot! Owned by Colin and Sandra. Fast forward to the parade. There's about 5,000 people there packed out at Wentworth Park. And you walked out Mystic Ride in, in the Seven Rug. What are you feeling at that moment? Yeah, uh, it was a little bit surreal, you know, knowing that, hey, we're walking to the boxes for a million bucks. It's, it's, I think there and then I looked at, I looked at Mystic and uh, Little Jewel and, and, and she looked up at me and I gave her a bit of a pat and I said, let's go, girl, you know. And I think that, that, that's when the realisation sort of hit. I thought, this is it, you know. You know, in the next two minutes we're going to know whether we're going to be, you know, millionaires or not. So it's, I think the heart started beating then, you know. Um, yeah, the, it was rapid fire, let's, <laughs> let's call it then. So, yeah. Well, if it was beating then, I imagine it was in overdrive when you, when you put her in the boxes. How, how was that moment then? Yeah, look, um, put her in the boxes, give her a little pat on the bum and said, go get them, girl. And, um, and mate, she did. Green light has been turned on. Life-changing moment awaits. Here we go. Set. Look, I, 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 it, there, was a, there was a roar of the crowd. It was a, it was a massive roar of the crowd. It was, you know, um, and, and you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't actually, it was all just very surreal. It was all like a, like a film, you know, like. Mm. Racing, Skyway dwelled and Mystic Wright came out running. She's charging to the lead, led by three, Skyway working to second. Um, and then to, to, to see that I thought she was in front, I said, who's in front? And then somebody said, you are, mate. And, you know, and... Um Jamila Jet out wide. They were followed up by Midnight Starlet, Poke the Bear, followed by Azka Ben, Big Butters, Dinah Harper at the tail of the field. Top yeah, I started, yeah, started riding. You know, I don't ride my dogs behind the boxes, but... That night I rode. Top corner, Mystic right by three. Jamila Jet going out after her. Five away, two sky wave. They corner the leader, Mystic right. Jamila Jet cutting it down. Mystic right digging in. A dream, now a reality. Mystic right, brilliant. Pete Jamila Jet sky wave. There's, there's now that iconic photo of you after the race. You know that she's won and there's you running down the home straight. Like, walk us through those emotions, how you're feeling then. You've just won the million dollar chase. Oh, mate, uh, yeah, look, well, you know, a ton of emotions just went through your body, your soul, your mind. Um, 
uh, I, 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 you know, it's still indescribable today. You know, you, you can't put them things in words. You know, mm. all week we never thought about winning. You know, you don't go into a race thinking about winning. You just go into a race thinking that have I done the right job? Have I done the right things? Have have my you know eyes been dotted? Have my T's been crossed? Um, and that's that's what we did all week. We didn't, you know, um, we didn't go there saying we're going to win it. We just we had a chance. Um, so for it to happen. It, it's still indescribable today. I, I, you can't put them emotions in words. That was just raw. That was, you know, uh, since the age of 14, you know, I, I was in Greyhounds, I was involved in Greyhounds and, you know, that was, yeah, just, you know, lump in the throat stuff. That's, that's, that's what, it, uh, that's, that's the only thing I can say about it. So, yeah, somebody will fulfill that again this year, you know, what, what we felt and, uh, and they'll know. They'll, they'll... Your wife, Jodie. And she's been such a big part of, of that, that whole Mystic Riot journey. She walks out into the track and you embrace her. Like, that must be something very special. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I couldn't have done it without her. I was just, I was thanking her the whole time. I was hugging her, you know, I was just whispering, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, look, uh, you, you, you know, you can't do it without, without the, the support of your family, your friends, uh, your workers, your, your, you know, uh, your co-trainers, you know. Um, you know, Jace McKay was a big, 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 you know, help, you know, he, he was instrumental in me becoming as, as good a trainer as I am today, you know, he was, you know, he was there as moral support, as, as, as you know, as a, as, a, as a trainer support, he was there everything, so, um, you know, it was a union of people that, that got us to where, to that moment, you know, and, and these people know who they are, and I'll never forget them, you know, so. I want to single one person out, because you did on the night, because it must have meant so much to you, you singled out your father. Right? Yeah. Talk me through that. <laughs> Looking after the dogs, I love you, Dad. This one's for you, Dad. I can't go from the boy for Dad. This one's for him. As as you know, we spent some time overseas. Um, we had a great contract and uh, training in Dubai, and uh, um, Dad fell ill. Um, you know, and uh, and we had a, our, our second child there, Bailey, and uh, uh, you know, it, it meant more to me to come home and, and spend time with dad and, and make sure that he got to know his grandchildren um, who carry on his name than, um, you know, being over there earning, earning a quid, you know. So, um, uh, yeah, to come home and, and be with dad and, and, and make sure that, you know, uh, while he's ill, that we were there by his side and, and supported him and, uh, um, you know, God's work works in mysterious ways. We're on a massive contract over there and we let that go to come here and we ended up winning the big race. So. Um, Dad was a big part of this, you know, he comes out a couple of days a week and helps us out and, you know, we fight like cat and dog, like, you know, most fathers and, and, and sons do, but, um, you know, yeah, look, yeah, I can't put in words what Dad means to me and, and Mum and, and, my, and my family, um, yeah, he was, you know, he, and he was home, he was, he was doing the dogs on that night and, and, and I remember, I remember a day before we left, he said, uh, we raced, he said, uh, Jeez, I, was wish I wish I was out there with you. And I said, come on, Dad. He says, no. He says, no way. He says, I won't leave these dogs here. You know, you go, you go get it. You go win it, and I'll be here. I'll be looking after the dogs. So, yeah, look, mate, you, you, you can't find help like that anyway, eh? You know, so. Mm. That's family. That's, that's family, yeah. That's, that, mate, that's more than family. That's, you know, he, you know, he carries my soul around. So, you know, that's pretty good for me.